Hello, friends. So, uh, I posted a couple of videos on Instagram a while ago about my Kagan Carboy Cleaner. First of all, super, super easy to build. So you don't really need um, like super detailed plans or anything. Uh, really, you just need a bucket, some PVC pipe, and a water pump. Simple as that. Why did I decide to build this? Um, well, primarily it's because of cost. Uh, I buy um, one step. This stuff's pretty expensive. It's like 35 bucks, I think. And every time you clean a, a, a keg or a carboy, it requires one tablespoon per gallon. And so what does that mean? Uh, if I c uh, clean a five gallon, um, uh, say five, six gallon carboy, that's like six scoops. If I have to clean like three or four in a row, that's a lot of product in order uh, to, to get everything clean. So I was trying to figure out like, what's the best way of, of cleaning my gear while using the minimal amount of uh, cleaner and of course water. And so the only way to really do that is by um, basically like a spring action. Um, taking a, a gallon to two gallons of water and recirculating. And it, actually it's more effective than uh, your typical soak cleaner. Uh, you can get something pretty dang clean, even a, a fermenter, um, within like a matter of like 20-30 minutes uh, in, in most cases. Okay, so first of all let's talk about the pump pump. Uh, this was probably the really, this was really like the most difficult part of the whole piece. Primarily what you want to pay attention to is uh, how many gallons, um, uh, what the, the gallon per hour flow rate is. Uh, this is 880, so I'd say anywhere between uh, 800 and 1,000 uh, is probably safe. This guy I picked up on Amazon. I just checked. It's on sale actually right now for like $22, including uh, shipping. So um, not a bad deal. Probably the most expensive part of this whole setup. So next important part is the shaft. Um, so I ended up buying about 10 feet of PVC to, to make this whole thing, uh, and that was far, far too much. Um, you can see there's maybe like, I don't know, uh, four feet total uh, between uh, the main shaft uh, and the legs. And that's really all you need, um, not very much. Uh, so this guy didn't come with it. Um, there's actually a plastic um, a threaded nipple on the, the top of this. Uh, I swapped it out for this uh, stainless steel one just because um, it fit the shaft a little better. I didn't have to worry about like gluing this on or something. Uh, you know, I can just pop this off if, off if I want to and throw another one on there. The one thing I want to point about the shaft is uh, I ended up drilling these little holes in here and I actually drilled them at a slight angle because what I want to do is um, have uh, uh, something that can basically hit the Croizen line as my my uh, my keg or, or carboy is in there. So it's spraying upwards towards kind of the bottom um, portion of the carboy. And just really hitting that stuff with a little extra force. Uh, the next piece is basically the stand. So these uh, four legs connect to this uh, crossbar here, uh, which then, of course, sits uh, in this guy right here. And uh, really, these are, I don't know, about uh, eight, seven, eight inches long. Um, and what I did is I originally just had it without the holes in the bottom. Uh, but what I found is I was getting a lot of drainage out the, the sides, which of course didn't stay in the bucket and made a big mess. So I just carved out these holes right here and uh, it completely solved that problem. Uh, it made it really super simple. Um, again, this uh, piece in the middle here is just a four-way. I drilled a hole through it um, just so that I can you know, slide that in there and have something for my uh, uh, kegs and carboys to rest on. So you put these four guys together. basically slides on like that. Like, no big deal whatsoever. Uh, the other part, part, and this took a little bit of trial and error for me, I actually ended up getting a few of these. Uh, so these caps, I think they were like 25, uh, 25 or 50 cents each or something like that. They're just PVC caps. Uh, and this is um, uh, half inch inner diameter PVC. Uh, really, really inexpensive stuff. But anyways, the caps um, I, I used uh, in order to just get a better, a better flow. Uh, so I've got two different styles here depending on you know what I'm washing or what I want to accomplish. Uh, this one's got just more of kind of a, a, a wide range spray. Um, it's actually really good for my smaller carb, uh, carboys. 
Uh, and this one is um, got a, a, a big hole, which gives me a very powerful jet to hit the top of my kegs and um, my larger carboys. Uh, and again, I just took a small drill bit and I drilled these diagonal holes in here uh, just to give me some good coverage. And I also put in uh, four around the edges here. Um, basically, start with um, start with a few holes and see how it looks when you when you do this. Um, and then just add them where you think that you need to spray. Uh, and if one is shooting out, you know maybe it's shooting out um, uh, the wrong angle. Just get in there and just you know kind of drill uh, drill it out a little more to get you the the angle that you're looking for. This is probably the most time consuming piece. Uh, but the whole thing took me maybe an hour to put together and that was with trying to figure out how to make this all work. So uh, again, I made two of them just so I have some options. Uh, again, this is for more for my large carboys uh, and this is for my small carboys and kegs. Uh, the only thing that I'd say is this is about a, um, a little bit of your, a little bit larger than a, a quarter of an inch hole here. Uh, I'm gonna go out and buy another cap and actually do the same thing but drill this a little bit smaller just so I can get a, a better spray out the top. I find that this one um, hits pretty well, uh, but it could hit a little bit harder if that was smaller, and, and that's what I'd like. So again, pretty easy stuff, uh, pretty simple. If you like this video, please go ahead and like it, subscribe, share with your friends, etc, etc. Thank you much! La 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 la